Hello folks, good morning. This is Don V with Truth Be Told. Uh, we have uh, some interesting information about Nasara Jasara. It appears to be a, a valid thing that's going to happen. It's just uh, waiting for it to uh, start. It was signed into law back in 2000. Anyway, before we move on to the report, uh, please remember to subscribe, uh, thumbs up, and click the bell. Uh, 97% of the people who watch my videos uh, are not subscribers. Only takes a second, doesn't cost a cent, and I'd appreciate your help to grow my channel. Anyway, without ado, let's go ahead and move to the first one. It says, Nasara Jasara. I would say that I had not even heard of this, but I can't say that. I did hear something on the Dragon family claiming to have a resolution to the world's financial issues. That was some time back. I really did not take it seriously then. However, I had no idea that all of this was going on and is totally related to the WEF reset. Then again, what isn't? They want to pretend that Nasara Jasara does not exist or that it just made up by conspiracy therapist, theorist. But there is plenty of evidence to be found of its existence. The truth is hard to determine. So much of the information has been deleted or perverted, so seeking out the real truth related to Nasara Jasara is difficult. If you have heard of this before, well, you're on top of things. If, if you have not, I hope this helps. Tried to dig up enough information to give you a pretty good perspective on the topic. More than anything, I want you to be awake and aware. Don't be caught off guard. It's easy to be fooled when you are in a panic or confused. And keep your head up, your eyes open, and your ears on. We're in for a very bumpy ride for the next few months. Okay, and it says, uh, Nassar Jasara forgets credit card mortgage and other bank debt due to illegal banking and government activities abolishes income tax, abolishes IRS, creates flat rate, non-essential new items, only sales tax revenue for the government, increases benefits to senior citizens, returns con uh, constitutional law, establishes new, new presidential and congressional elections within 120 days after Nassara's announcement, monitors elections and prevents illegal election activities or special interest groups, creates new U.S. Treasury currency, the rainbow currency, backed by gold, silver, and platinum, precious metals, returns constitutional law to all our courts and legal matters, initiates new U.S. Treasury bank system in alignment with constitutional law, eliminates the Federal Reserve System, restores financial privacy, restrains all judges and attorneys in constitutional law, ceases all aggressive U.S. government military actions worldwide, establishes peace throughout the world, Initiates first phase of worldwide prosperity distribution of vast wealth which has been accumulating for many decades and releases enormous sums of money for humanitarian purposes and enables the release of new technologies such as alternative energy devices. Okay. On this site, uh, I'll give you a, the link will be followed at the bottom. It says, the Nasara law is real. To look on the internet, the individual seeking truth would most likely believe all the disinformation lift, listed there. I have neither worked on publicizing the Nassara law for the past 18 plus years because I thought it might be true nor voted for uh, President 45 because I hoped he would work tireless, tirelessly to drain the swamp of all those who held, hold back the announcement of the Nassara law del and deliberately sabotage the rights granted to all Americans by Constitution for the United States of America. And yet to mention either name, Nassar or 45 often stimulates a firestorm of how can you believe this or how can you support him. 45 is fulfilling his campaign promises, draining the swamp takes time because no one wants guilty ones to walk free due to technicalities. The last I heard there are approximately 30,000 sealed indictments since 2017. Of course we don't know who they are until they are unsealed. But according to previous numbers, 30,000 is far above normal. Uh, I know we're over a couple hundred grand and uh, a bunch of them have already been arrested. Here I'm merely stating what others interested in the research are saying. Something is happening to create the high increase in indictments. I worked as a member of the Nasara Take Action Teams for approximately two years before it was signed into law under Navy SEAL gunpoint on October 10th, 2000. Flyers were translated into various languages and Take Action members took them to large gatherings and distributed them. Dove invited natives of countries all over the world to create banners for Nasara and European Take Action members held 40 demonstrations displaying 
the, the banners for international tourists in front of the Peace Palace in Hague, Netherlands. Letter campaigns were conducted to swamp political leaders with requests to make an official announcement and implement Nasara. We were informed that large box loads or letters were delivered to the Office of Political Leaders in D.C. Secretaries are required to make note of each letter received, so the politician is assured of seeing them. The campaign for Nasara was conducted very much like a presidential campaign, with Dub being very strict in requiring that no member gave out any disinformation, as I remember. Dub sent out updates on a daily basis to take action members. These were also posted on the one official Nasara website to which we were to refer people. This website only, so she could be sure people were reading the truth, not disinformation. If she can see the internet now with a swarm of disinformation about Nasara, she is brokenhearted. She worked day and night for Nasara, and many of us felt she gave her life for it. A human being can take just so much resistance before the body is adversely affected and gives out. I'm sure it was no confidence that I felt intuitively guided to request, save, and post on my website blog photos and demonstrations in front of the Peace Palace in Hague, Netherlands. Demonstrators all often sent out updates on their activities and with which political leaders they have spoke about Nasara that the concept of Nasara became global is the result of the public uh, publicity created by these demonstrations and tourists who learned of it requesting the same for their home countries the global Nasara is called Jisara and it gets the links here okay Palace Peace International Law Administrative Building in The Hague, the Netherlands. It houses the International Court of Justice, which is principal judicial body of the United Nations. Permit Court of Arbitration, the Hague Academy of International Law and Peace Palace Library. You can view the photo gallery that demonstrates. Okay, the Nasara advertising trucks Dove and her financial donor hired while spending a week together in Washington, D.C. Trucks drove around D.C. during a heavy tourist season to publicize Nasara and hopefully gain support for the official announcement implementation of the Nasara law. Alright, so let's click here. Alright, so here's the paperwork that was done uh, that they were going to fill out and did fill out and before it was sent to Congress. And uh, was signed into law. You can see that it's uh, NASARA, National Economic Stabilization and Recovery Act. And there seems to be quite a few pages of it and all about it and how it works. Uh, 85. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to leave these uh, links for you to take a look at. Okay. And then this site says, I would say that I had not even heard of this, but I can't say that. I did hear something. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. All right, I already read this. Sorry. All right, why is it so important? According to Golden, and it gets, this act is legislation of the United States government that was designed by people, blah, blah, blah. Okay, the amazing positive transformation to be ushered into our lives by Nasara Jasara. And it basically uh, says the same thing that the last site, the other website said. Okay, well, moving on. Okay, it says... Longtime FBI signature expert says Hunter Biden signed receipt for abandoned laptop. laptop. <laughs> President Sun has tried to cast doubt on authenticity or origins of computer turned over to the FBI Delaware shop owner. Yeah. Not mine. Not mine. A retired FBI counterintelligence agent with longtime expertise in signature analysis tells Just the News that Hunter Biden signed on and April 2019 Delaware computer repair shop adding fresh evidence that a controversial laptop turned over to be to the uh, bureau with eye-popping emails about Ukrainian and Chinese business deals belonging to Slow Joe's son. Retired special agent Wayne A. Barnes, a 29-year FBI veteran who mastered signature analysis while unmasking Soviet spies during the Cold War says that R.H. Biden signature, short for Robert Hunter Biden, on the receipt issued in spring 2019 from John Paul Max Isaac's repair shop in Delaware matches those on documents known to have been signed by the Slow Joe's son, such as social security cards, driver's license, and other public documents. The signature on the computer repair store from April 2019 was signed by R.H.B. 
Barnes wrote in a 24-page report commissioned by the Just the News. Barnes noted that the receipt signature contains many of the same distinctive characteristics that Hunter Biden's signature contained on other excuse me, public documents and exhibited no signs of forgery or digital replication. The general pattern and flow of the signature matches the other known signatures from RHB, Barnes wrote. The R has its vertical line with normal slight slant to the right, while the beginning of the top curved part of the R does not begin where RHB usually starts his. That is, by picking the pen off the paper and starting a new line. Here it commences from the bottom of the vertical line lazily, not lifting the pen off the paper, but then it goes up to its normal starting position to the left of the top of the vertical line. The line then curves to the right and around and down to the middle of the vertical line. Okay, and then it tells about how it does it. Uh, it is something that w which appears essential for RHB when writing his signature. It then goes back up and to the right, something well demonstrated in other known examples. Barnes, who now works as a private investigator in Florida and has testified in court cases as an expert, was recommended to Just the News by several current and former FBI agents and supervisors who said his work on signature matching was highly respected and played essential roles in solving cases ranging from counterintelligence threats to health care fraud. His expert conclusion adds to a growing body of evidence that Hunter Biden likely turned over it turned over in April 2019 and then abandoned his laptop to the Delaware computer repair shop by Mac Isaac, who subsequently turned it over to the FBI in December 2019 under a federal grand jury subpoena. Hunter Biden has acknowledged he is under criminal investigation by the FBI on tax matters, but in interviews during a recent book tour has tried to cast doubt on the authenticity and origins of the laptop that Mac Isaac has insisted he obtained lawfully from Hunter Biden and then turned over to the FBI. I really don't care what the answer is. That's the truthful answer. Hunter Biden told CBS News in an interview earlier this week. I have no idea. Well, he's just like his father. Lies constantly. Asked whether it could have belonged to him, the president's son replied, certainly. Certainly there could be a laptop out there. It was stolen from me, he continued. It could be that it, I was hacked. It could be that it was a Russian intelligence. It could be that it was stolen from me. When the contents of the laptop laptop first surfaced last fall during the 2020 presidential election, Biden defenders sought to portray the laptop as a fake. Several security ex experts declared without evidence that it was Russian disinformation and Twitter censor censored and blocked early stories on the laptop until after Joe Biden defeated 45. No, he didn't. Since then, Twitter, is, Twitter has said it was a mistake to censor the contents and the Office of the Director of National Intelligence declared the laptop is not part of a Russian disinformation campaign, an assessment the FBI does not challenge. At any rate, I'll go ahead and I'll leave, uh, I'll, I'll leave the links for you guys that you can click on and, and follow these uh, news reports and read, read it all for yourself and see what you think. Do some research, look for yourself, and make your own decisions. There's a lot of alleged information here and uh, got to say alleged. This is Don V with Truth Be Told. Please subscribe and we are out of here.